Hey what's up guys this is Wicked Android HD and today I'm gonna be showing you how flash latest MIUI version 5.6 since I got a request from one of my viewers to do so and uh, we'll get back into history this time because it's been a while since uh, I flashed a MIUI ROM uh, I think the last one uh, the last time I flashed is I flashed MIUI was a couple of uh, years ago on my Galaxy S1 the battery was not that good that time, but let's see how it behaves right now in the present. Um, so first of all, you need to have a custom recovery. I do recommend Fields Touch 6, and uh, as I do always recommend making an Android backup b before proceeding to any kind of flashing, uh, just to make sure you have a fresh backup of your current configuration in case if if something go if something goes wrong with your flashing. So how you do that you go into backup and restore them either backup backup to SD either SD card or SD card 1 uh, I have already done that and afterwards before proceeding to the next to the next flashing part you need to wipe data wipe and format options and then clean to install new RAM and I will I'll get back to you guys after it finishes the wiping part okay guys so after you have wiped your device your backup is um, safe and let's proceed to the flashing part install zip and I will choose zip install zip from SD card because SD card one because I have stuck the ROM here as you may see me why i9505 I got this link from, from one of my viewers thank you for all that appreciate it and let's click install me why Okay, so it's done. Install from SD card complete. Play, press any key to continue. Let's see the boot animation because it's been a while since I saw uh, one of these beautiful animations. So this is a kind of uh, iOS style Android based firmware. Let's see how the boot animation looks like. So we don't have a boot animation, that's cool. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, here's the boot animation. Me. Powered by Android. So I'll get back to you guys after I configure my Galaxy S4 running MIUI version 5.6. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this is MIUI version 5.6 um yeah it's beautiful simply beautiful from the speed and the smoothness to the every single app which has been modified by this developer the developers of this uh, beautiful user interface I gotta say that there were some big improvements over the last couple of years since I uh, flashed the last MIUI ROM on my Galaxy S1 but this is absolutely amazing how it looks and how it feels there are still some Chinese apps but not such a big deal I will uh, discuss every single app and every single um, you know how to say it every single detail of this ROM because it's worth it and you won't be um, you won't be sad after you leave this video you will be fully satisfied so we'll begin with a lock screen really beautiful lock screen as you may see this text here pops up really nice so it says slide up to unlock and Pay attention, after you unlock the device, as you may see on the top right corner you got your career, career text along with the type of connection and uh, the battery life along with uh, the Wi-Fi network and uh, the ringer mode along with this beautiful clock and after you just slide up to unlock you will see some beautiful animation in the lock screen. Let's see them, as you may see. 
just beautiful beautiful everything snaps into place with this ROM every single animation snaps into place so let's see it again because it's really beautiful okay so we're on a home screen we have some apps here the camera app is the Samsung is the Google default camera we're not get, gonna, get, gonna get into this let's see the music app you see you have to accept terms of service so this is how your app looks like it will scan all the songs but as you may see every single app has a different type of color in the background okay let's put a okay let's play this one so the media is let's see how as you may see beautiful music player really beautiful music player if you slide down a notification sorry you will see here on the top left corner that you have a little widget where which shows you uh, how much uh, of the song is left to play and you can pause you can skip to the next song and so on let's see if the lock screen benefits yes it does the lock screen also benefits of uh, this kind of a widget this here should be the album mod but since you don't have an album mod you, it won't be showed okay so let's uh, close the music uh, let's get into themes app which is a kind of Chinese themed application but luckily we will be able to apply a theme let's say uh, for example this theme okay downloading it will be very interesting I don't know how fast it does download but we'll, we'll see as you may see it's downloading right now so when it will be complete we'll test it but for now let's get into settings settings are kind of iPhone-ish based um, let's just turn down the, the brightness a little bit just to show you because the screen is so bright so we have uh, our mobile networks uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, haven't tested Bluetooth though and I won't because I don't have a device to pair with wallpaper you can change the wallpaper of your home screen and uh, lock screen you have a do not disturb button which you do have here DND so after you click this everything is set to mute sound lock screen let's see how the pattern not the pattern the pattern yes how the pattern looks so let's check this one so retry let's set it like this confirm okay let's see how does it look like okay so it pops up after immediately after you slide up sorry really beautiful but we'll stick to the stock one since it's faster you have new account as you may see right now you can't add a Google account but I think as far as I know you have to flash gaps in order to add a Google account and add some Google apps to this beautiful ROM call settings let me show you the phone app so let's uh, let's say we want to call 415 this is how it looks like really really beautiful and from time to time we will receive a message let me turn off the screen and show you how it looks like this is how a message looks like when you receive actually when you receive a message credit info for example so tap to view and it will get into the messaging app really fast this is the messaging app contact browser let's test the browser let's uh, be <laughs> yeah it's full of Chinese links 
let's browse for example um a Romanian GSM Arena for example. GSM Arena dot com sorry com fuck 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 without a double mobile GSM Arena okay let's get into the desktop version and let's browse some okay don't want okay uh what the fuck statistics no let's get here as you may see things are running pretty fluid yes remember no lag at all uh, one thing to be mentioned though is that uh, if you pr long press the home button nothing will happen but if you single press on this you'll get a default a multitasking uh, way from the Galaxy implemented in Galaxy S5 and Galaxy S6 so you'll be able to change from app to app by simply single pressing this button and then you know change okay tools let's get into tools and show you the clock this is so sick man you can see the seconds here it's so minimalistic so minimalistic and so good looking fucking wrong believe me is the mo is the most is the sexiest room I have ever flashed man for fuck's sake I mean yeah Andrew you can you can do it by yourself you can theme it like this because it did it it looks awesome every single app has been customized has been customized in this ROM and you can feel that it's been polished file explorer redesigned with categories and one app that I found to be the sexiest is this compass app because if you keep your phone like this and you just slide you just go from left to right like this it will show you the degrees here and northwest or the cardinals but if you intend to use your phone as a real compass if you keep it like this as you may see it automatically changes to a normal compass and this is sick guys this is sick attention to details that's what I'm talking about here attention to details okay security don't know what the fuck this is but okay so you can clean your device really cool so let's make a system check scanning scanning cache scanning trash too suspicious really cool really really cool app so these are the apps that you may need on every phone but on Android you'll have to download them from Google Play so these are included by default on MIUI calendar let's get into calendar and see how it looks like simple and stylish just like that notes tap to create a note create a note this is default Google keyboard we'll not get into that because it uh, is too damn simple weather um, let's say Bucharest because I live in Bucharest Romania and uh, yeah so sorry okay damn good really simple 30 degrees Celsius I was asking for weather and take a look guys right now it shows me the the how hot it is outside even on this icon beautiful simple video more apps we're not getting to that so guys as you may see uh, 
I am so surprised on how this ROM moves and behaves since it is a 4.4.4 ROM as I'm going to show you right now okay let me just turn up the brightness so it's a 4.4.4 what I thought it will it was about to show me something but it wasn't so it's a ported ROM pay attention it's a ported ROM it runs KT kernel that's even it's even better <laughs> if you ask me Be beta version and it looks like this well gotta say I'm really impressed uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stay on this ROM but <laughs> damn this is one of the best ROMs customizable ROMs I have ever flashed on my device not really customizable but customizable by default which comes customized by default themed by default and I gotta say great job MIUI developers for making this kind of ROM based on Android because it looks and behaves awesome so that was it for today guys I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel I'll pull in into the description with the link to download uh, this ROM and thank you for watching guys bye bye